My god, this title screen is badass. I've been sitting here for five minutes getting my recording stuff set up and it just looks so sick. Look at the fire and the lighting effects. Damn, it looks nice. Hello, <laughs> and welcome to Lords of Ravage, a new turn-based RPG with a very dark theme behind it. Very similar if you're familiar with things like Legend of Keepers, Darkest Dungeon. You'll fit right in if you know what I'm talking about. If not, stick around and uh, you'll learn all three billion things you need to know about playing the game because this is one of those deep RPGs where you need to get real invested or suffer the consequences. Now, I need to give a massive thank you to Lords of Ravage's whole team for giving me an early look at their game and the opportunity to show you guys what is in store with the September release of Chapter 1. Chapter 1 down here in the corner. It's coming out this month. Go wishlist it on Steam if you want to jump straight in. It's coming out in sections, from what I understand. Chapter 1, then more to come later. And damn, I think that's all I really need to say. We need to jump in the tutorial because I spent about two minutes in the tutorial and then realized, wait a minute, this is plot. There's lore happening in the tutorial. Plus, it's genuinely really cool. So I haven't even started a new game yet, but I'm going to jump in and finish the tutorial, which I didn't finish before. And uh, we'll move from there. Look at this, by the way. This is beautiful. It's 2D sprites on a... 3D background, so similar to Octopath Traveler, even. There's there's so many different art styles happening here, and I'm I'm just all for it, dude. These it looks gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this 3D table down here with a 3D book. Little 2D dudes all over the place. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. I don't know what it is about this aesthetic, but it just it, it screams to my soul, dude. Your Highness, Lord Barold has arrived with a report. Let him through, King. <laughs> I love this. Look at him. Look at Lord Barrow. Look how big this man is. This is a normal sized human right here. He eats his wheat bix, his greens. He's growing up right. This boy is big. He's still got little legs though, but damn, he's got a big body. My king, I'm afraid I bear ill news. The enemy continues to attack our flanks. If this continues, then our defeat is not far off. Our supplies are running low. At the moment, we have only three boxes of medicinal supplies and food will last no longer than seven days. No, no more than seven days. Taking into account the reduced rations, three boxes of medical supplies for an army is nothing. Are you kidding? We also lost the last five mages, but most importantly, my king, we lack fighters. So I want to ask you. No, Berold. The verdict of your knights is not up for discussion. Ah. Oh. How dare the king be so rude? Under the current circumstances, I consider your sentence unreasonable and disastrous for us. Your knights have killed 28 unarmed people. They need to be shown that the shedding shedding the, of the blood of innocence will not go unpunished, not while I am king. So, Beryl's knights are kind of war crime dicks, I guess. But, you know, it's war, and Beryl is all like, we can't afford to put our best fighters away, sir. You consider them innocent. Our army is starving and they're hiding food supplies from us. We offered them silver instead of swords, so they're basically trying to buy supplies off the peasants of the land. And uh, Beryl is all, you know, Viking style pillage and plunder and take what's ours. And they refuse the silver. And is it worth buying provisions from our enemies? These very same peasants will open the gates to Wal. Wait. Walhelm? Walhelm? I think it must be Walhelm. When he decides to return the city. King Walhelm sought to rule by fear, much like you. Uh, oh, so the King, King Walhelm is the opposition's king. Right, right. Rule with fear, much like you. Uh, that's why his people were joining our ranks. Oh, dissenters. Until your knights shed their blood. To sacrifice an elite squad in exchange for untrained and unarmed peasants is unprecedented stupidity. Damn, there's a lot of uns in here. Untrained, unarmed, unprecedented unworthy king watch your tongue barreled or else Pfft. talk like that to me you can see the size of his axe dude you got this tiny little sword sticking in the ground this man's whole axe is taller than you his actual axe is taller than you your hiatus we're under attack we'll finish later barreled we need you on the front lines go now oh he's not happy barrel oh he's barking orders at him at once my king you can just tell that this barrel guy is not going to work out for the king. Just not going to work out at all. And here we are! This is barrel man. This feed is dangerous. Uh-huh. Such futile efforts. Nice. Welcome to the Lords of Ravage tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll learn the basics of the game. Let's start with the combat system. Let's go. You play as Lord Barold, leader of the Dread Knights, and an excellent fighter who becomes more powerful as the battle progresses. 
Let's deal with Walhelm's forces. Nice. Uh, you always have the first turn. Your units can take turns in any order. Left click on Beryl to select him. You can also hold the right mouse button to rotate the camera. Pretty. I like it. Uh, Beryl. He has a vast choice of abilities at his disposal, which you can find at the bottom of the screen. Some abilities can only hit frontline units, while others later hit any target. So I understand that that is the red or green icon next to the name. So you can see Cleave, and to the left has a red sword. That would indicate they can only hit close range enemies, whereas Maim has that green bow and arrow looking icon. So I'm assuming Maim is the, you know, like, you know, range attack. Maim the archer. I mean, he's in the back. That makes sense. So similar to like a Darkest Dungeon row system where you need different moves to hit different guys. You've got melee attacks, range attacks, and then looks like buffs. So let's Maim the archer, which will also do horrific wounds. And if we want to see what horrific wounds do, holding control and look at that we get a breakdown of what the status effect does if any idea how happy i am that i can actually see what the hell status effects do and if i'm not mistaken i can hover over what my opponents are gonna do and see what their attacks are i can even see what effects they do oh my god thank you so much for this detailed breakdown let's maim this archer bam he damn we <laughs> he took a lot of life dude that hit really hard and we've left him with horrific wounds which deals 25% damage at the start of a turn, 12 damage for him, so every turn he's gonna take 12 damage. Uh, eight turns. You are so dead. Currently, Berald has enough AP to use only one ability, since you don't have any other units on the battlefield. You should end turn. Uh, right. Now, that right there, the red line is showing AP, so the little blue balls there are the action points. Opponent's turn. Damn, dude, they are not doing enough damage. You, you guys have no chance. While a capable fighter, Lord Beryl restores his health very slowly between battles. It is a wise idea to minimize the damage he takes. Careful advance cannot target frontline units, but it applies a status effect that reduces damage um, that he takes. Now select him and use savagery on any available target. Right. So if I use careful advance, it does 50 damage and I gain resilience, which is a reduce all incoming damage by 25%. Right. Until damaged. Right. Every time it's hit, one stack is removed. So it's one of those don't get multi-hit kind of things. This guy's got 72 life versus 96. I'm going to take care of the weak link. Damn, that does damage. You can also see which ability an enemy is planning to use their intention. Yeah, we hovered over those a second ago. Don't always change their intents unless the target doesn't have uh, legal targets left. Any legal targets left? I'm sorry, sir. I have no legal targets left. It would not be fair if I targeted someone I'm not allowed to. Now, thanks to Escalation, Lord Beryl becomes more powerful as the battles progress. So that's that little spinning wheel over here that it's highlighting. Each two turns, he unlocks different bonuses, increasing his combat phase. Right now, he has entered phase two. So we are actually like a boss monster right now. We are the boss monster. <laughs> that's sick. Right now, he's entered phase two and gained one AP, but loses 15 power. This means that each of his abilities will deal less damage, but he can now act twice each turn. Aha! Each unit can store additional AP, but will lose any AP above the capacity at the end of their turn. So I've now got my two little blue balls filled. He's got a capacity of two, so I can attack twice. Uh, what is it? Again, and use cleave on any target. Deals damage to the extra lines of enemies. So if I cleave, 35 damage to an enemy and 18 to the rest in the same rank. So if I hit this guy, extra damage is done to the guy above him. Nice. Second action as you see fit and dispatch the rest of the forces. Cool. I will... I could clear the Grievous Decay that's on me, that dot. Clears all negative status effects and gains power. Now he's 15 power weak. Is that his power there? This is power. It affects the damage dealt by abilities and sometimes healing. Ah. What I might do is actually get him bleeding first. Because this little guy over here is going to die from bleeding out when his turn starts. Yep. That guy now smacks me. And what I can do is, these are all on cooldown anyway, so I can use unnatural strength, buff myself, get rid of that decay, cleave him. <laughs> he just dies. <laughs> Sick, I love this guy. He's, he's badass. Now, soldier, we're under attack. Why are these knights still imprisoned? King Aceline, us Aceline. Aceline, I'm gonna go Aceline. It could be like Aceline. I'm gonna go Aceline. King Astley told us under no condition, open the gate so you'll join the rest of the corpses. Oh, damn. Y yes, Lord Berald. He's freeing the Dread Knights, the people that the king said he wasn't allowed to free. 
damn, he's, he's, he's being a dick and going against his king's wishes. Your orders are to defend King Asseline. I'll go free the rest of the Dread Knights. Sick. So this is where, like, the recruitment phase comes in, I assume, where I can now use other dudes. Oh, wow. Oh, look at these, like, like warrior monk-looking dudes. Sick. Mage with the fire on the stick. Yo, he's got a twin lance. Stand your ground. It's literally four dudes versus four dudes. Damn, everyone else is dead. Oh, here come the knights. Here come the... Yeah, if I saw these guys walking up and I looked like this guy or this dude with just a stick and no shirt, I'd be a little scared, dude. These guys have come straight out of, like, Berserk, and here's you over here just coming straight out of Braveheart, dude. Like, damn. What is this? Reinforcements? Dread Knights. We'll deal with them. Keep the king occupied. While Helm's champions, we need to be careful. Oh. This time you'll have to defend against the enemy's heroes. Don't expect to defeat these enemies in one battle. While your defenders will probably perish, you will have up to three battles to defeat the heroes. I see. Oh, combat one out of three. Okay, okay. These heroes are much more powerful units, capable of escalating and becoming more powerful with their own special mechanics. So I'm now fighting other enemies that are similar to my Lord Berold in that they become stronger over time and are pretty big badasses, I see. Usually combat starts with the reinforcements phase. During this phase, you can place up to four units on the battlefield. Remaining units are shown on the reinforcements pane. Okay. Start by placing a black guard. While you can place this unit anywhere, he's best suited for the front position due to high health. Bop. There we go. Another good addition would be a spell sword. It is a fragile fighter which grants your leader more power with each attack. Place him in the back line. Cool. Bop. Oh, I like the spell sword. You look cool, dude. Lastly, let's place Knight Lieutenant. Thank you. This guy's got a cool name. He's an elite. Uh, a powerful elite unit, meaning that it takes two out of your four slots. Oh, you're a two-in-one kind of dude. I see, I see, I see. Instead of the one that a regular unit takes. I'm going to put you in the front. Damn, it's the big mace dude. You are huge. Star combat button. Okay. Black guards are frontline defenders. They can use Vision of Terror, which severely reduces enemy power for one turn. Select Black Guard and use it on the Fire Mage. So... It applies a stack of exhaust. Decrease damage dealt by 25%. Ah. So I can weaken you. Cool. And he's got an extra turn left. He's got two. Yes, two action points. Spend the last one. Uh, we can only smack this guy because it's a melee attack. So we hit him and then select the spell sword and use a ruination. The skill increases the leader's power with each use. Oh. So this is like to buff barrel. Hang on, I'm looking up. Is that the little plus one up there? Oh, it's got plus three. Oh, plus three life. Wait, so it's boosting how much life he heals over time and his power went up by one. I see. So you're actually good for buffing the big dude. It's like Knight Lieutenant. His slash skill deals... Why does he have a slash skill? He's got a mace. Um, also has the passive ability unrelenting. At the end of each turn, he will attack a random enemy and consume one charge of the ability. Unrelenting won't trigger if it does not have any charges left. Right. So for three turns, for three charges, he passively smacks a dude at the end of each turn. I'm assuming skills with charges cannot be used or triggered while having not having any charges. Right. Allied death, he gains 25% of that target's power and consumes one charge of the ability. So he gets stronger when other dudes die first. And because crush takes two AP, I've got to end my turn and wait until I get another AP next turn. Right. But luckily, he still smacks a dude for free each turn. Ow! Yeah, these dudes these dudes are AOEing like crazy. Deals damage and applies one stack of wounds. Deals 18 damage to each enemy. So he's just AOEing. Okay. Okay, you're being you're being rude. So that's on cooldown, so I just use double double slash. I can use my, my number pad to, to quick select buttons. Now what's this? Shadow Barrage. Deal four damage to random enemy five times over. It's got one charge, so I can use it like once per time I use this guy, I guess. So, ah, that's cute. So that's like twenty damage for free, spread out across two dudes. I'd probably just keep to like spamming ruination to be fair and keep buffing up my main dude. Now I can use, oh, crush. I guess it's been renamed and the tutorial hasn't updated it yet, so we can use crush. That makes more sense. On big man here, just a big chunk of damage. Sick, and he still does his passive, right? He does, but it's a random target. I want him to keep focusing this guy. Focus down Twin Lance, dude. Ow. Bruh. My turn again. Still on cooldown, so we'll just do double slash on you. 
We'll use Ruination on you. Buff up the big dude upstairs. Yeah, 25. 25? Dude, that's buffing up fast. And can't do anything just yet. We'll wait a turn out. They're doing a really good job of focusing down my lieutenant. It's like the AI is... Ow! Sweet Jesus, dude. They're smart. I want, I want my side dudes to die first so my big man gets a power up. But that's not going to happen at this rate because they're AOEing all my dudes. Um, is it worth trying to weaken? Yeah, let's just weaken the mage. He's AOEing. Slap this dude. Slap this dude. Now we end turn. We've got three, three combats. Three combats to win. So we're gonna, while we die here, once some of your units have died and freed some combat space, you can replace up to two units. Lovely. Place a Dread Knight on the battlefield to reinforce your squad. Is it a powerful frontline fighter who excels at fighting wounded heroes? Also has some defensive skills. All right. Oh, I like you. He's got a lance, a, a, a halberd actually, by the looks of it. Place more units if you have the combat space, then press the start button. So it actually just, it's up to me. Ooh. So I've, I've don't have any room for you, but let's put an archer in the back. There we go. Uh, not enough reinforcement points. Oh. Oh, I see, I see. So hang on, hang on, hang on. Whereas this is your reinforcement points. Once you lose some of your deployed units, you'll be able to replace them with others while this value is above zero. So you do have a finite number of units you can keep putting down. Obviously, besides the times three, times one, so you've got numbered units. Plus limited amount per fight. I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see. Now... What's our new dude like? Shadow armor. Adds 20 armor and applies two stacks of resilience. That's the same one that reduces damage taken, right? Yes. So that doesn't cost any action points. That just has a cooldown on it. Nice. Buff him up. Unholy rush. Deal damage to an enemy if this enemy has less than 50% life. Apply decay. What's decay do? Damage over time? Stacks independently. This dude's below half. Nice. So you're now bleeding. Making me the victor. So I'm going to double slash you. Start working. Whose blood is this? Uh, it's mine. I cover my weapon in my opponent's blood. That way I give you diseases. Now, Archer dude. Decay passive. On dealing attack damage to an enemy, applies Grievous Decay to this enemy and sets his ability on cooldown. So I just passively apply wounds by shooting a dude. Shoot a dude, do damage. Now, because it's a range, I can hit anyone. I'm going to keep focusing down big man up the front, though. Just to get him out of the way. So there we go. We've applied his decay. This has a four-turn cooldown. Fire the second shot. Roll out of AP and turn. This dude's going to kill my knight at the back there. How dare you? It's fine. It's fine. So now I've got to use these two. So until I have, like, what? One dude left? No. I'm out of points. I can't bring any dudes out anymore. That's why. It's okay. I'll just keep smacking at you and hopefully you'll die. What's that? Applies one stack of wound to each enemy. Oh, man. Ow. 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 I do like how it highlights the damage you're going to take from damage over time. So it's like, I am I am practically dead already. <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as my turn lapses around, I'm dead. Pew pew, dude. Is that enough damage? Will he die? No. He won't die. Damn it, dude. No! No! Ah, But that's fine. I got. Look at the guy crawling on the ground. I've got extra combats, right? I've got three. We're about to enter combat two. And they don't heal back, do they? Good. Place your units and start combat to continue. So I get to choose. Um, this dude dies immediately, and this guy's not at half life, so I'm not gonna put a Dread Knight down. I want my Lieutenant. Bam, I like this guy. Maybe another... Hmm. I could put an Archer down and a Spell Sword, or I could put another Blackguard down to exhaust my enemy and make him do less damage. And let's use another Spell Sword. There we go. Now, because he counts as two, I can only have three. So we're back to the first the first setup that we had at the beginning of the, of the, the fight. Each turn you gain two EP, Edict Points. These points are used to cast Edicts and are saved between battles. To use an Edict to drag the card from the top and drag it onto an available target, read the description, use them to continue when you continue. Okay, okay. Leader deals damage to a random enemy five times. I don't want to wait. So that's the same as the Archer's abilities. I want to kill this guy first in that case. Apply two stacks of Focus to an ally. What does Focus do? 
increases power by 25% per stack of this effect. The effect is lost after this unit uses activated ability targeted enemies. I see. Stacks two times, last to end of the raid. So, two turns, he gets 25% more damage. I see. Add 20 health and apply taunt to single ally. I'm assuming taunt makes targets enemies target me. Yes, attack this unit. Stacks independently. Cool. And then you have add 2 AP to a follower and deal... Not sure how much damage to them. I see, I see, I see. Now, outside of that, that's 12 damage. What? How much damage is that? Six? Kill this guy. Okay, he takes less damage. I understand. I'm going to... Wait, I'm going to save this. I'm going to nerf you. And you, if I do this, please just let one hit him. Yo, one hit him. Good. Die, die, disappear. Bleh, melt away. And so now, what if I do this? Ooh, nice. You can also force your units to retreat from combat and deploy your leader instead. This could save some of your units, freeing up some resources. So at any point, I can just send Beryl into a fight? Bro. Okay, hang on, hang on. Before I do that... I want... Hang on, hang on. I'm going to do that after the next turn because I want my big dude to get a turn to, like, do his attack. I can use these guys as fodder. Damn, that does damage. As fodder for a little bit. Right, so you can double smack. You can do this and we buff our, our big boy a little bit more. Nice. And then you can do a crush. And I've got two EP because I get two back every turn. And what's the one that gives me AP on you? So you can do your thing again, right? Yes, you can. Sick. Enter combat. Leave this one to me. So they just disappear. Beast. Any walks. I am a servant of the third light. Uh, you're a dude who... Damn, you're a dude who's about to die. <laughs> oh my... That's, that's so silly. <laughs> He just walks in. Watch out, men. I'm, I'm coming to kill steal this one. They're like, oh, sir. We've lost men fighting this mage. No, back up. I'm kill stealing. What an ass. <laughs> I love it. It seems like while Helm's forces are retreating for now, no doubt to return later. Your knights have fought valiantly once again, Berold. I've reconsidered the verdict. Nice. They are sentenced for five years of imprisonment once this war is over. Really? What? This is an insult. These knights saved your life. I mean, to be fair, he's got a point. He's got a point. There's a bit of bit of odd diplomacy going on here. These knights did come and save him. They, they've died for him, dude. At the same time, these knights disobeyed my direct order. Uh, committed war crimes and treason. Must be punished. To be fair, your orders are the very thing that got us into this situation. Oh, oh. You are short-sighted, Berold. We cannot build our future on fear. Fear is the only language they understand. It is a necessity. You of all people should know that. You've authorized the creation of Dread Knights. So what are Dread Knights in that case? Fear is just one tool, not the only tool. I've had enough of your insubordination, Berold. I'm appointing General uh, Sagaris as the leader of the Dread Knights. Oh, we'll see about that, young king. Beryl, don't you dare. Don't you dare what? You've left me with no choice. What's he gonna do? They're gonna... Oh! Oh! They... Oh! Oh! <laughs> I was not expecting outright betrayal. Dread Knights, for so long we were a bulwark for the ungrateful king. But today we take our fate into our own hands. Dude, this is some straight up berserk Game of Thrones dark stuff. I, I love it. I love it. Kill the king. Do more. I will lead you to greatness. I promise that we will find an artifact of great power. The power it possesses will allow us to shape the destiny of the kingdom of Lucerus. Sick! Ah, here's our, here's our, our, it's a campaign map. Oh, cute, I like that touch. Berold is free from King Asseline's service. As a king slayer, he was proclaimed Lord of Ravage. I see, doomed to be forever hunted by Zenith packed forces. So that was a, a bit of a, a decision that had long-lasting repercussions, I understand. After each epic mission, you will gain rewards and unit experience. One experience when a unit enters the battle or dies. So just using them at all, I get experience for them. That's good, that's good. Units increase their stats as they grow in level. Press OK to continue, nice. Mission rewards, gold and knowledge. Wait, 
It is used for unit and building upgrades. Ooh. And Forbidden Knowledge is primarily used in upgrades and occasionally can unlock additional options during the missions. I see. We can see all of our dudes getting experience. We used, I think we used all of our units in that fight, right? At least each one once. The invasion has begun. You can see all the potential regular missions available to you. These missions offer different rewards. Each mission will spend one turn on the global map. Each five turns will be offered an epic mission. Unlike regular missions, they offer increased rewards and include combat. So the way that reads to me is that you have five, quote, turns, five decisions that you can make before you have to go and fight. And then based on your decisions, your fight might be easier or harder. You're currently low on troops. Let's recruit more units by completing a mission with unit rewards. Ah, so it's, it's limited. So it's, it's similar to the idea of like limited capacity where you can choose... Do I need to get more units? Do I want to get more knowledge? Do I want to get recharge edict? Adds two charges to each ability of your time. Oh, I see, I see. Or more money, like, what's that? Massive Zenith Pack forces are about to enter this location. We only have one turn to complete this mission. I don't know what that means yet, but okay. Uh, we need to select a mission that's highlighted. Oh, I see. Uh, I'll choose this one. I see. Click on the start mission button. You will spend one turn and gain new units. You usually want to have between 12 and 18 units for an epic mission. Cool. Start mission. So that's done now, right? Is that just finished? Click on the management one. You can see a list of your available units here. You can hover over a unit to see its abilities. I see. Some of your units are considered to be in your dark alliance. Really? These units can be upgraded with new abilities. Oh, if you hover over them, you can see in purple there, dark alliance. I see. Is that just because he's a dread dude and I'm a dread dude? Wait, I think that actually is literally the case. Oh yeah, the evangelist and the ritualist are here. So it did finish immediately. Cool. So dread bros stay together, I guess. Click on the plus to bring up the upgrade. That little plus right there. Oh my God, there's so much here. Here you can see potential unit upgrades and level up rewards to continue upgrading this unit by clicking on any of the potential upgrades. I see. So, this costs money to unlock, this costs knowledge, that costs a mixture of both. Impale deals 60% damage to an enemy and 120% to one behind it. Ah, that costs two, so that's like, that costs two, um, two, two action points. But he only gets one action point a turn, right? So you have to wait a turn? Uh, vicious energy turn start, gain one AP and set this ability on cooldown. Oh, so a turn start, he just gains two now. Or well, he gains two at the first turn, then every four turns after he gains another one. I see. I'd rather that. This unit gains three power for each AP. Give me this one. Yeah, I want that one. Getting more attacks initially so he can like buff up and then do big double slammies. Because this is the guy that leaves debuffs on people who are half-life or less, right? So I could debuff two different dudes and play him like a warlock and spread dots around. You are a leader of the faction this unit belongs to, so Dread Knight. I see, I see. It gains additional upgrade options and plus one max upgrades. Second upgrade costs twice as much. I see. Oh, so because he's one of my faction, I can upgrade him one more time and get more. I get it. I get it. It costs gold and forbidden knowledge. You can get more of these resources by completing missions. Now you possess all the necessary skills to play Lords of Ravage. You can try to start a new game now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude. I'm about it. Let's go. Oh, so you do get different Lords. I see. Main faction Dread Knights. Tough fighters and brutal veterans of the military campaigns. So, unavailable in demo. So we do have different lords. I understand. Uh, let's go and... Wait, what's what's the difference between difficulties? Enemies are weaker and have less life. Still weaker and less life. Baseline difficulty and no bonuses or penalties. Each, uh, each one completed epic mission generates menace. Enemies get more health and power for each menace you have. So it just gets harder as you go. I'll start on normal. He has all the same abilities, the Escalation passive, this is really cool. Luckily I already know all about Lord Barrow, let's get started. Yo, this is a full-on campaign! My faithful warriors and brothers in arms. In my visions I saw the glory of the First Empire. Its unmatched power, its unprecedented wealth. In the center of everything was one artifact on which strength the Empire relied. The Staff of Arkadon. Only legends about it have survived to this day. However, it is much more than a mere legend. 
Once its power is in our hands, we shall achieve true greatness. Today, we start our conquest. Sick, so each leader gets his own motivation and each, like, damn, dude, that's pretty cool. Look at this backdrop, it's so pretty. Is that a, you look like a milkmaid. Ma'am? Ooh, new units. Wait, what are you? I, I don't, who are, oh, battle mage. Ice blast and incite applies two stacks of focus, so you buff people. Ah, and what are you? A druid. Decompose, deals damage and applies that. Drain health. Locked ability, Aegis of Nature. Summon two natures on the battlefield. I see. Escal you escalate as well? Oh, you're like an epic unit. Oh, you're the main dude. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Swordsman, basic dude. Protect and slash. <laughs> he, he slash and he protect. <laughs> he makes sure no axe hit your neck. Um, We've got our edicts up here. I see new edicts. We had this one before. Apply two stacks of exhaust to an enemy. Now exhaust was the damage reduction, right? Yes. Leader gains 10 power, sick. All allied units gain three power, sick. So I kind of want to drop a Knight's Lieutenant down because they're just beast. So I get two more spots. I know what spell swords do. Dark Alliance, oh they're, oh. So Knight Lieutenant is not Dark Alliance. But these two are, ah, and they've got the little banner there to prove it. I see. So I should be working on these dudes. But what do you do? Blessing from beyond applies focus to an ally and deals damage to a random enemy. So focus makes them do more damage, right? Yeah, power by 25% per stack. Devote. Sacrifice this follower to add one AP. Transfer its positive status effects on the follower. I see. A sacrificial lamb. Ritualist. Dark Blast. Deals damage to each enemy and adds one point. You can just generate EP. Ooh, you're pretty cool. Deal damage and applies one stack of curse. Deals three damage each time this unit receives attack damage. Oh, so every time you hit this guy, they take damage. I see. And then we know what the spell sword does. I'll put a ritualist in. Um, I'm assuming... Yeah, you're a ranged dude. Put you at the back. Ooh, you look cool. And maybe a spell sword? There we go. So now... Star combat. Give them hell? How dare you? How come you're being highlighted? Are you the only one I can hit? Uh, we'll start with you. We'll do... We'll do a barrage. Actually, no. Barrage is going to split between dudes. I want to focus fire the main guy at the front and get rid of him. I can't target the back yet with anyone else besides maybe you, right? You can hit the back, yeah? Oh, that takes two to use. I see... Five damage. Hang on, hang on. I should just wait your turn out because like five damage and one EP is nice, but cursing a dude, pretty sick. Yes, I want to waste my turn so that these guys can build some more AP. Ow. Ow. Damn, ow. Uh, right, now I can do my curse thing. Deal damage and apply curse to a single enemy. I should apply curse to you. How, does, how long does it last? It lasts one turn. Oh, okay, so forget that. So let's just play Curse to you. Do some damage. I've got four EP. Wonder what I should use. I like how they they like they change around. All negative status effects on enemy to tick two times. Oh. That's pretty cool. Leader gains power. Hmm. I like that. Maybe I should just start using that now. Apply two stacks of exhaust to an enemy. Actually, let's exhaust you because you are buffed up with focus but if we exhaust you now it's countering out i see i see i see um uh, you hit him you hit him feels good end turn smack the druid go for it dude my lieutenant is getting hurt severely ow okay he's dead damn you damn you to hell um, I might just drop the next one in. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Start combat. Now I've got three I can use. Or, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Now I've got four to use. Good. Okay, so this will do damage to a random enemy five times. I see. Um... 12 damage. Wait. Do you die? 
Did 16 damage. Nice. Uh, go. Nice. Boost the damage. Let's go. End turn. What's that you're about to do? Ice Blast? No allies in his rank. Oh, that's why it's doing more damage. It's doing more damage to dudes if there's no extra allies in the same rank as him. That's why they're getting hurt so badly. Oh, I see. Restore health to user. Basics. Wait, where'd you come from? Oh, reinforcements are over here. That's the dude that I saw in the upper left corner. I understand. I understand. I understand. Uh, can I can I just use my lead to get some power buff? Thank you. You. Damn it, dude. Now I've got to kill this guy as well. Crush. Barrage. Use it or lose it. We may as well just start trying to hit the dude in the back. I use my dark power. Kill this mage. Ow. 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 My lieutenant. My lieutenant doesn't get a chance to use his, his cool buff because he's dying before his friends do. Um, all units gain power. You know what? Sounds good to me. Yeah, sounds good to me. I could have used this earlier, but it doesn't matter. So you do this. And now, big man, I wanted you to hit the mage. Ow. Ow. We get three fights to, to beat this, though. No, my boys. How dare you. Wait, what's this first? Causes all negative effects to tick twice. I don't think he has any damage over times on him. No. So that's not going to help us right now. I still can't believe this mage is going to live. No! No! This stupid mage! Fine, fine, fine. There's three fights to beat this. We, we took out one dude. Practically two and a... Well, almost three. We, we basically won, right? We basically won. We basically won. Now, these are my remaining dudes. So... Mm, I understand that the mage now likes to hit dudes that are in... What's that? 30%? That's his life. Is that 30%? Is that his, his armor? Like he's reducing damage taken or something? Doesn't matter. Um, spell sword. I might just stick them all in the back. Like, put you there. Put you there. Cult Evangelist. Oh. So you just buff. Apply focus to an ally and deal damage to a random enemy. I see. Yeah, let's put you here. I want to see... Ooh, you look cool. You look real cool. Okay. Uh, Wait, can I put more? I can... Oh, that's right. I'm not done. I can put more down. Um, If I have two of you, then I can use more. Am I limited to just this one left? Probably am, right? Mm. I'll put a spell sword in the damage this place shall become your grave good you tell him you tell him dude so you you can die to give ap to someone else or apply focus to an ally and deal damage to a random enemy uh give focus to this guy up here nice you killed the mage blessed be the rng uh i might wait the turn out for, no whoa, whoa, i was about to end my turn i'll wait the turn out for him uh, go random bullshit. 14 damage, kill him. Nice. So that's, that's damage taken. They're taking more damage. I see. You're about to go into phase... Well, you're trying to get to phase two. I won't let you. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's the same one. So if I apply curse... Wait, I didn't want to do that. I wasn't. I was going to wait. Oh, I forgot already. I could sacrifice myself, though. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, wait, let's do this. Nice! Okay, now I'm going to wait the turn out. Yes, I'm sure I want to waste that one action point, because I need to. Ow! Stop it. Right, now, I can curse this guy. Now, it says it makes all status effects tick twice. Does that... Right, so because this only works when I take damage, I guess that's why it's not going to activate. 
Makes sense, but at the same time, damn it. So wait. I could buff you. And then I could have sacrificed him to get an AP back and then attacked again after the buff on him. Oh, I see. You're a pretty, pretty flexible unit, Mr. Evangelist. So, yay, people getting their power-ups and stuff. We, we leveled up, we did good, so... Turns until combat five, I see, so... Oh, I would like a Dread Knight, please. Can I get a... What's that? Sacrifice a follower to add power, and 20% of its health is armor to your leader. Cool. All reinforcements units will gain this amount of experience. Aha. Uh -huh. Or knowledge. Can I get... I want to I wanna get units... I'd like to get some massive Zenith Pack forces are about to enter this location. We only have one turn to complete this mission. So it won't stay there. It'll go away. If I don't take it, I see. Applies one stack of focus. Yeah, that's a lot of knowledge right there. Um, Wait, how many units do I have? 11. Oh, okay. So let me... Wait, back to missions. Let me get some more dudes. Let me get some... I kind of want some experience, but then again, knowledge and mass temper, I'll take that. And, oh, Blackguard and Fanatic, cool. I'll take more units, please. What's that? Apply one stack of horrific wounds to an enemy. Nah, I'll get some more units, please. Cool. So now, I have to take one of these. Is that the idea? Ah, I see. So big knowledge, target non-elite unit gains an extra life, I see. Dark Priest will be added to your Dark Alliance. I see. I see. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Oracle Pillars. Location. Forgotten Boon. Each ability your units have gains one extra charge. Units with two basic AP or more gain one additional. What? So I can get, like, whoa, dude. Buildings? Buildings? Oh my god, this is huge. There's so much. Follower gains six power until the end of turn. I mean, I kind of want the elite unit because right now, expected combat. Oh, it's this dude. It's these dudes from the tutorial. Oh, I see. I can even see who I'm fighting. Yo. But I really want, I really want Dark Priest. Yeah, give me Dark Priest. Let's go do the Dark Priest fight. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I love the setting. Look, oh, look at the mood lighting over here. Delicious. I'm gonna get a sip while this loads in. Is this plot? Oh my god. Wait, is this decision making? Your scouts were able to locate the knights. After brief negotiations, you've convinced the knights to join you. However, the knights were pursued by Zenith packed forces, determined to get every dread knight alive or dead. We were able to ambush the attackers and kill one of two important targets. We killed the veteran or the priest. Oh, I, could I have clicked on the question mark to see the outcome? I clicked on the name. Uh, that's concerning. Okay. What's this? Champion passive combat starts. Most powerful unit gains 20% damage reduction. Triggers once. What? Screw you. So probably you, right? You take less damage. Be that way then. You, you big bully dummy dum dum. Oh my god, so wait, this is quite literal. Like, all my units that died in the last fight, I lost my lieutenants. No, my lieutenants. No. Okay, so let's get a black guard out here on the front lines. Let's get a spell sword in the back. What's Fnatic do? Applies one stack of resilience to an ally and deals damage to a random enemy. This unit has an extra life, I see. Uh, resilience sounds good. Put you up there. Um, I'm not using my priest just yet. I want to save him for later because he's... I don't want him to die straight away. Maybe another spell sword or a ritualist? For the EP and the curse would be kind of nice. Yeah, because these guys do AoE. Okay, we'll do that. So put you up here. And combat start. Let's go. The weak tend to flock together. How dare you, sir? Shut up. So much like last time, we're going to nerf the mage. Smack this guy. I'm now gonna smack a -lack you in the face. And you, I'm gonna wait to use Curse. 
applies one stack of resilience to an ally and deals damage to a random enemy. Okay, so the resilience I would like to go on the guy who's going to curse the most so he can take more damage. The more damage he can take, the better. Now I've got two EP. Wait, combat one out of one? I have to win in one go? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What? That changes everything. I should have used my Dark Priest. No! Wait, I've still got I've still got reinforcement points, right? Infinite amount. Infinite reinforcement points. Everyone gets used. This is good. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I, I freaked out for no reason. It's fine. Um, what kind of EP are we looking at? Apply two stacks of exhaust. Leader gets power. Out units get good. Just yep. Yep. I'll bring in Beryl if I have to. Beryl will come in and just wreck your faces. Ow, chill out, dude. Jesus. All right, curse you. You are now cursed. Congratulations. Uh, you again. Poke, poke, poke. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Applies one stack of focus to each ally. Oh, I should put that on first. Exhaust on an enemy, though. Hang on, we're going to exhaust you so you do less damage. Uh, suck it. Slap him twice. Slap him again. Buff up our glorious leader. And turn. Ow. I should have put the curse on him. I thought this guy did AoEs more frequently. But he's not doing it as frequently as I thought he would. I should have put it on the on the mage. Um, Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So with you... Let's get that EP. Right, so now I could do this or this. I mean, these units are about to die. Unless it's for every unit that's also not sent out yet. Maybe it just means all units... Because the other one buffs big boy. Hang on. I'm going to test it. What? All our units gain. Oh, it does mean these ones. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, we need to wait and not use that just yet then. Um, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, so let's just use this first. Get some free damage out there. And we'll just run through these dudes. Use it or lose it. We're about to die. May as well. Um, yourself. <laughs> Make yourself resilient because you're not, you're not dying for some reason. And that's it. We're out. Okay, everyone's going to die except for our... Is that the Fnatic? Ow! Oh my god. Wait, doesn't the Fnatic have extra lives? That's why he's alive. That's right. He must have died already. And I didn't notice him coming back. Are you at half-life yet? Oh, he's right about to hit half-life. So let's put Dread Knight out here. And now, let's see. Mass Decay. Puts Decay on each enemy. Deals damage to an enemy. The damage dealt is increased by 50% of that enemy's power. And Anathema. On death applies a stack of wounds to each enemy. Cool. Oh, you look sick. You look sick. I love you. You look awesome. Play a turn. Um, put resilience on our elite dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stab, stab, stabity, stabity, stab, stab, stab. Buff yourself. Now he's below half life, so this should put a damage over time on you, right? Yes. And now you. The damage dealt is increased by 50% of the enemy's power. That's a big boost of power, and it's got a cooldown on it. So hang on. Nice. That's a pretty big hit. And I can't... I need to wait. I want to get some EP and either use this, or... I mean, I could do this and make each status effect tick, but he hasn't... I want to get this Decay on first. Let's wait and get the, the, the Warlock dude's Decay on first, the Priest. Ow! Ow! Damn, you guys hit hard. I can use all of them, right? Okay, so I'm going to put you down. And we'll rotate through these fanatics first. Get slapped. Extra DOT. Get slapped. Extra DOT. Now, where's the one that makes DOT stick more? There it is. But first, buff him. Nice. Feels cool. Leader gets a buff. Leader gets a buff. Nice. End turn. 
Nice. Damage over time. Wreck these kids. No, my Dread Knight. God damn it. He was my favorite Dread. Uh, I can put one more dude in. How about a Spell Sword? Maybe a Ritualist to get more EP going. I can rotate through the EP a bit quicker. Oh, the Curse. The Curse. Right, we'll Curse someone. Yeah, let's do that. So... I'm going to continue to make my, my cool priest dude beefy. There's a turn on that still, so I'm going to put this on you. Well, it hits everyone, so it just applies decay to every enemy. It's pretty cool. Good AoE. I like it. I'm going to wait your turn out, so we're not going to use yours just yet. By focus on ally, all units gain power. So next turn I can maybe do that. Although I think the power was kind of wasted on these particular units because they're mostly damage over time. Ouch! Okay, second life just procced on that guy. Jesus Christ. Curse the mage. Big damage on that guy. Make him resilient. And now... It really does feel like a waste. I, should, I mean, I could have used it at the start, but I want to wait until I get new dudes out, and then I'll use it fresh on them. I'll, I'll use it all. I'll save up six, get fresh units, buff them, give them focus, move from there. Because these two edicts are the only ones that we're recycling through. No, my cool elite priest. My dude. All right, I've got four, five, six, seven. I've got eight dudes left. <laughs> um, damn, there's a lot of guys left here. Uh, what if we just unleashed the spell sword army? <laughs> it's un We're unleashing the spell sword army. All units gain power. Uh, focus. Yeah, boyos. You guys are in trouble. Fire. 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 Just, just unleash the bombardments. How do you live? <laughs> How do you live? Ow. Oh my god. Dude, don't be such a dick. Damn you! Um. Fine. Stick one of you out here. Uh. Buffer bro. Oh my god. Fine. If I gotta do it the hard way, we'll do it the hard way. Nice. Nice. Now, what if I send out Barold? to save these dudes from getting blown up by big mage guy. I can save some, some spell blades that way. I could have saved my elite priest. Ah, oh, I'm kind of getting the idea now behind using your disposable units first, use your big units and then save them at the last minute by sending out big guy then. I understand, I understand my mistakes. All right, he's bleeding for a lot of damage over time now. He takes a turn. Luckily, I've got a lot of reinforcement on me. I mean, he... My life is still above its maximum capacity right now. Sick. 65 damage, die. Damn it, dude. I could have sent him out sooner, couldn't I? Wow! Okay, okay. I understand. I understand. I understand. Mission rewards. Priest added to the Dark Alliance. Nice. People getting boosted up. People getting experience. How come the Dread Knight's not Dark Alliance? Wait, so Dark Alliance is just randomly selected dudes? I see. I see. So it's different every time. I thought it was just the same units, but Dread Knights are not Dark Alliance right now. I see. Unfortunately, dudes, that is all the time I have for you right now for some Lords of Ravage. Go wishlist it on Steam. Like I said at the beginning of the video, Chapter 1 will be releasing this month in September of this month. Go check it out on Steam, please. It's, it's a great time. If this is anything like what you enjoy, I highly recommend it. As someone who is a big fan of turn-based, hard RPGs, I, I love this. It's, it's, it's so fantastic. Another big thank you to everyone, everyone on the team of Lords of Ravage. You guys are making something very pretty, and I can't wait for the rest of the chapters to come out and see what the other Lords are like. And I got to get better at the game. I, I know I made a lot of mistakes in that first major epic fight right there. I need to save my units. I need to make sure they don't die. But with all of that said and done, 
I gotta get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this first look at Lords of Ravage, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one.